Welcome back, back to another, another episode of the Cuba Ricans podcast. podcast. Number one podcast in the nation. Number one podcast in, in Miami. Cuba. Number one podcast in Puerto Rico. Number one podcast in Kentucky. <laughs> Oye, tú sabes que cuando yo era chiquito, es verdad que... Can... Let me just inform you guys. Gio has been drinking tequila. Yeah. So he's going to say, hello, mierda. <laughs> ya empezó, you know, cuando era chiquito. Vamos a escuchar lo que dijo. Eso. Yo, yo... O sea, aprendí de Kentucky por los Simpsons. ¿Really? What, what y lo asocié con Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh. Pero, tú, yeah. tú, pero eh, el Kentucky Fried Chicken, el KFC, ¿es de Kentucky? Vamos a preguntarle a nuestro próximo ¿Qué? A ver si sabe. A ver si hay muchos Kentucky en Kentucky porque nos vinieron a visitar directamente desde allá. Yes, sir. Introduction, our guest. He is a huge TikToker right now on the social media platform, millions Instagram, of followers, millions. million of followers, Cuban, straight from Kentucky, United States of America, Williams with an S. Yeah. Williams with an S. Did your mom ever explain to you why she put an S in the end? I think she's dyslexic, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> Williams with an S. What's your last name? Alvarez. Okay, that's not Williams it. Alvarez. A.K.A. your boy Will. Mi pregunta no es por qué te pusieron la S. Mi pregunta es why did they give you an American name? Damn, that, that, that is true. Yeah, William. that's good. I think it was just because my dad's name is William. He, you know, we was yeah. going to America at the time and they was like, you know what? Fuck it, let's make him a little bit more Americanizing. Yeah. Bingo. Put an S on it. ¿Y tú te sientes más como hablando español o inglés? No, lo he dio. How is your content? My content? Yeah, mostly it's like you're imitating, but like yeah. you do like you mix... Like you, you oh, okay, because the I love like messing with different cultures, bro. Like I have a lot of friends that are Vietnamese, a lot of friends that are Indian, and wait I for real? Culture. Yeah, I do. Oh shit! I Kentucky thought you were just doing diverse, shit. Bro. I thought you did your impressionations just because you know how to do them. No. I didn't know you actually had friends that were like very from different... diverse friend group. Oh yeah. shit! What the fuck? And, but you were born in Cuba, right? I was, yeah. At what age did you come? Five years old. Oh, five years old. Oh, so you're un bacerito, yeah. low key. Five years old. Uh, yeah. un, balse, un balsero, alguien que viene en balsa, pero si él fue para Kentucky. No, but in Miami, we say balsero to like anybody that's mm -hmm. Cuban as fuck. Yeah. Some people yeah. get offended, like, no, yo vine en avión. <laughs> yo vine en avión. Yo no soy balsero, but we call yeah. them balsero anyways because they're mm -hmm. refuse fuck. Yeah. Easel as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm Cuban. So don't nobody get offended. I'm Cuban myself. I'm Easel. All my coworkers think I'm Easel because I say fuck it. The other day we got, we got into a whole argument because I was at the mall mm -hmm. and you know the shit that you like see the stores? What do you call that? A directory. Well, I said it like director. Like I said it like directory. Yeah, I was like directory. That's a directory. Uh, okay, it's okay. directory. <laughs> okay, pero una pregunta. ¿Tú pasaste por Miami o no? Sí, claro. Yo pasé por Miami primero y después, you know, they just shipped me off to Kentucky. Like how? Just went. At that age, at that age, you went to Kentucky. Five years old. At that age, because yeah, Kentucky is actually known for having the biggest like refugee program in the nation at the time. I think it still is. Oh shit! I thought that of, was a joke. No, bro. There's a. Lot he said that of, when he got here, bro. I yeah, thought it was a joke. Oh shit! Oh, that is, bro. So what? What do you mean by refugee camp? Like, uh, like there's a bunch of churches in Kentucky that take in you know Cubans, Mexicans, Guatemalans, and anybody for real. And uh, my family qualified for that because the reason I came, I'm here in the United States because my grandpa he was a political refugee. Mm. And don't say you know he got that support from, from the Kentucky. And be honest, do you? Like Kentucky? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's my second home, but she's I mean, dead, used bro. She's dead. FYI, guys, I've been to Kentucky myself. Yeah. Plata mierda. <laughs> Listen, I just came back from Utah, Gio. Utah, a Mormon state. You went back and it was nicer than Kentucky. I would have really? thought. I would have thought Utah was worse. That's crazy. No, Bobby, Kentucky was. There was not fucking. <laughs> there was not even no yeba in the trees. Gray, oh, gray yeah. state. Everything was what, gray. What part of Kentucky, though, did you go? Bobby, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you think I was like, no, get rid of this part of Kentucky. Yeah. I think the best thing that we did was the devil shit cave. What's that shit called? That's like una Mammoth cueva. Mammoth cave. Mammoth cave. Yeah, Mammoth some cave. shit that you go under. Like, ah. it's a cave that you go with water. Mm. That was like the best, nicest thing there is. But I saw it black in the beaches. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just horrible. Pero si aquí encontra alga en la playa, cabrón. Aquí lo que hay alga en la playa. Bobby, you cannot compare Miami to Kentucky. <laughs> Do you like Kentucky? I mean, this is what you're what? How many times have you been in Miami? Like the third or fourth time? The third time, yeah. Do you like it? I love Miami. Yeah. 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 What do you the like about it? Traffic is crazy, though. Traffic? Yeah. What do you think about the traffic? It's insane, bro. I'm like, I don't know how y'all do that shit. Ah, yo tenía una pregunta aquí. Buena. Uh-huh. Está buena. What is worse? You, you said you got traffic today on the way over here? 
I did. Well, I was about to. I okay. was about to. And then I checked and it again. And how, how do you know about Miami traffic then? Oh, Kentucky. We're talking about Kentucky traffic? We're talking about Miami traffic. Okay, mm-hmm. but that's why. How do you know about Miami well, traffic? Well, the second time I got here, uh, bro, I was insane. It, well, I, I do be driving a lot in, in rush hour. Okay. So I, I, have a, I have a question. What do you think it's worse? Miami traffic, mm-hmm. paying a $100 cover at a Miami club, <clears throat> or getting your car towed in the Miami? All three has happened to me. I know, me too. <laughs> That's Wait, what, what's the second one? What's worse, a hundred dollar cover at a club, uh-huh. getting towed, or Miami traffic, or like being stuck in traffic? Miami traffic. We're talking about like you gotta get somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah, traffic was in your way. There's an accident. Yeah, Un niño se murió. <laughs> helicopter. Like we're the talking about Miami accident. Ever. Yeah, we're talking about the yeah, rush rush hour, five p.m. <laughs> Out of those three, which is the worst? You think? And then getting the last one is getting uh, impounded. Right? Getting towed. Yeah. Getting towed. Yeah. Which is. Has happened happens in Miami. Well, right. I'm gonna ahora si tiene dinero no. This is when we find out that people don't have dinero or no tiene dinero right now. Well, I got, you think this is this is easy? For me, I know the answer for sure. Okay. Like from my opinion. What, what's your answer? Well, my answer is a hundred dollar cover. <laughs> Porque number one, I'm already used to Miami traffic, <laughs> and getting towed. So you it, think the cover is really bad? I mean, hundred dollar cover. That's horrible, like, Bobby. All these places that you go to are like buy a forty, buy a worst comes to worst sixty bucks, a hundred dollar cover. You better pray, Davies. What's the, what's the co- <laughs> underwater? <laughs> what's the cover for live? It's it ranges between sixty five to one twenty, which is why I've never been to live. That's crazy. Ta loca, I don't got that type of money, not yet. <laughs> Jeez, Tú nunca ido Bali. Nunca ido Bali, Bobby. Bueno, que va Ricans podcast te va a llevar el Bali. Tenemos que ir Bali. Shit, Bobby. Have you been to live? Sí, Maggie. Uh, the second time I came to Miami, I was about to, but I was 20 at the time. And uh, can I say can I say this? <laughs> yeah. I, had, I had a fake ID, bro. Okay. He, no, bro. The, the I security dude seen it. He me cogió para la bro. Like, he got me, bro. Poncha, poncha. He got me. He got him. Name for him. So you had a fake ID? I had a fake ID. Bro, he like bent it, smelt it. No, oh, yeah. They, they like, take it the very fuck? serious here. Miami doesn't play. He, the thing that threw me off, I was like, Got me. He was like, "Oh, let me see your Snapchat. Like, let me see your birthday on Snapchat." I was yes. Like, oh fuck. That's when I knew bounces in, it, in Miami like, are, are yeah. They sometimes they go, they look at your ID. If it, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, they'd be like, "Okay, no, what are your no. settings on your phone?" No, that's and not. And they oh. check, they check the top of your settings. And they like, see your actual birthday. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm fucked." So out of those three, which one are you picking? Where's but one? if you pay them a hundred dollars too, they'll get in. So now you're talking about a hundred dollar cover and a hundred dollars? No, no, no. I'm saying like if if you're underage yeah, and yeah. you pay, you can do that. I mean, it's not I never, legal, I never went out it's when I was Miami. underage. Like, you're right. Anything's possible. Yeah. But yeah. I never went out when I was underage. Now, yeah. now all these underage kids are going out. Uh, fucking final answer. Uh, you think that a hundred dollar cover is worse than getting going, leaving the club, and then finding your car not there? I was just about to say that. Uh, the only bad, okay. In the end of the day, yeah, mm-hmm. because getting told you gotta pay more. Obviously, but not like, really. Like when you go to the impound, it's probably gonna be like 150 cash, and you can. That's get what it. I'm saying. Because mm-hmm. getting towed, if you're with your friends and they can take you to the fucking tow thing, you grab it really quick. Then I don't see it as a big deal. It's happened to me before. I get the car in an hour, but a hundred dollar cover, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, and if you're with Leo, like if you're with girls. And like you can't look like a bitch, you gotta pay for the girls too. Like now you're spending two, three hundred bucks. No, girls are I get free. a table. G- girls get in free. Girls You'll be surprised. There'll be some clubs that you, the girls gotta pay too. Yeah. You'll be surprised. That's crazy. Damn. Big one, big one. Uh fuck it. Yeah, boy, will. I'll probably say getting impounded, bro. Yeah, he got money. Let me get a hundred bucks. Do you been in Miami three times already? Three times. You have any crazy stories that's happened to you? Cause there's no way you come to Miami three times and there's not mm. one crazy thing that's happened to you. That you can't think of the top of your head? Not really, bro. No, not really. Damn, he has it. That means it's going to happen this weekend. Yeah, it's going to happen this weekend. That means it has for to sure. happen this weekend. Especially sure. that you're in a weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Definitely. Yeah. So tell me, you um, how long have you been making videos? I've been making videos since I was consistently since 2022. But like oh, my so first YouTube video was when I was 14. Oh, so you 14. started you started like YouTube a long time ago, but you started taking it seriously in TikTok? TikTok, man. That's, like that's what? Uh, 2022 was post-COVID or, or it, was it COVID? I, I don't know. You tell me, bro. I don't know, bro. COVID, COVID, COVID was such a long time ago. 2020. 2020 was 2020, bro. So I was two four years, years ago? ago? COVID was four so years ago. So you started ago. after COVID? Yeah, started Damn, after COVID. Because everybody started... Was the year before. that was in lockdown? Mm-hmm. Was 2020. Was 2020. 2020. 2020. That's when everybody started popping off. Yeah. 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 Oh, so you did it after and you blew after. up that fast? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. But TikTok, bro, if you... 
If you were a no, yeah, tú pones vasito de esto, you get viral. <laughs> ¿El qué? Que tú pones vasito de ese y you say una, una mierda con ese right now, you go viral. You can go viral. <laughs> There's a good possibility right. that you go viral. Just because tú estás haciendo algo con el vasito. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> That's how TikTok is. <laughs> bro, I see shit pop up. Millions of views, and I'm like, there's no way this got millions of views. You'd be surprised, bro. I tried so hard on some videos, and I'm like, yo, this, this is definitely going to happen to me all the time. Yeah. A la pinga, bro. Not even fucking a million views or whatever my standard is. But I do like a little stupid video of me showing my haircut, doing a little funny voice or whatever. Boom. 50 million views. 60 yeah, million views. yeah, it'd be the oh, random fuck. shit. Be that the is true. Shit. You know who Ryan Trahan is? I do, I do. You know yeah. who it is? He's, he was a big YouTuber, and like he blew up like crazy on YouTube uh -huh. and on social that. media. And he was like doing a challenge for YouTube. He said, I'm going to try to go viral in like 72 hours on TikTok. And he like tried to get these crazy ideas, blah, blah, blah. And Smart. like the first day, nothing. Because all these ideas were crazy. And then he started doing retarded stuff, like really dumb. Like, oh, um, uh, this is how many times it takes to wipe the <laughs> shit, shit out of my ass. And then that's funny. Uh, uh, 100, 100 million views. Easy. Like, crazy, bro. So Easy. what you're saying is actually pretty true. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why, bro. The when did it when did it actually hit you they said holy shit like uh, cuz now you have what how many you have on TikTok 6 million 6 million I just and a million, million on Instagram so when did it actually like hit you like yo no this is like this is my shit oh man i'm going to be doing this it actually hit me when uh when my mom uh she was like what's going on like why why is everybody coming up to me at work saying oh your son's like you know everybody <laughs> That's exactly how that and i was like no mommy like none, none's going on it's just like you know this is what i'm doing i'm just doing it for fun but in the back of my so, mind, I was like, I'm doing this for real. I'm giving it everything, but I don't want to. Also, you never wanted to tell her the actual answer? No, but coming up, and uh, like, I was in college before, bro, and I dropped out to pursue that shit. And uh, it's crazy. Oh, wow. So this whole time that you were making all these crazy ass videos, your mom has no clue what the fuck you're doing? Because I had her blocked. She's not and how about at the bro. house, though? Huh? She's not hearing you in the house? Like, no, 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 yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> nigga screaming. My, my, that's how happened with me when I used to make videos. My mom was like, there's no way this guy has a wig in his head. Exactly. Screaming out of the top of his lungs. Exactly. The fuck is he doing? The I fuck is he doing? So I eventually had to tell him, oh, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm, do I do videos? That's why I'm like, there's no way you do. hit this from your mom. I was actually filming it um, at my cameraman's house the whole time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the the you were time. filming at your... So you never did it and at your both house. Both of his parents is always working throughout the day that I film, which is 3 to 4 p.m. Interesting. Interesting. Crazy. That's crazy. So, so uh, you have to eventually tell your mom, no? Uh, where does your mom work? What does she do, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, bro. Um, she, she works... Uh, it's like a dental place, right? It's like she boxes up dental crowns and, like, does braces. Like, basically, like... Oh, a, so a, a lot of kids, so a lot An, an orthodontist? I go see, like, a dental assist. I don't know. Okay. So, ella... La, sus co-workers le empiezan a decir, Diablo, tu hijo me está saliendo en TikTok. Mm -hmm. Y ella como que... Cuando, ¿Cómo ella te confronta sobre eso? Like, how does she go to tell you, like... Uh -huh. Why are these people talking to me about you on like this right, social right. media? Because again, like I, I had her blocked on Instagram, TikTok, yeah. everywhere. Okay, again, me daba pena, so she bro. was confused. She was so confused, and then she was like, "What, what's going on?" And again, at the same time, like a little bit of money started coming in. She's like, "Ah, oh, these people talking about the drug, like." He's, he's oh, she hit you with that? Yeah. And um, no, I just had to tell her. Like I showed her all the videos, and she laughed, bro. And I was like, "Damn!" Like, cause I never showed that side of my mom before, cause I was. I was just trying to be the perfect son, bro. You know, like, I'm yeah. Cuban. I have to go to college. That's how I was going to ask you. Know, your, mom, your mom's strict? She is very strict. Yeah, that's this, how is how this is how this guy was uh -huh. back in... When I'm we looking started at this, this kid podcast. right now, and I'm literally well, just imagining my life. Yeah, this is exactly bro. how it went down with me. Yeah. Exactly Same like him. When, you, when we used to do the podcast, this that's how this guy would tell me. I'll be like, bro, like, we can do this. We can mm -hmm. we can make it with this. And he'll be like, yo, no, but my mom, you know, like... Yeah. Mind you, I, I, imagine telling your mom, you're Cuban. Imagine explaining to my mom, <laughs> mom, yo quiero dejar la escuela porque yo quiero hacer podcast. <laughs> She's going to be it like, para crazy, venga, right? abre el libro. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, it's very hard to tell somebody because, especially, not only the Cuban, back in their day, like, their mentality is like, you have to have a exactly. good career to be successful in America. Exactly. He doesn't know how social media works, how followers work, exactly. how freaking people pay you. Try to explain that to your grandparents as well. On no, top like, of even that, worse. Like, another whole different generation, you know? And it's even just worse. Like, Pero que tu haces, yo no entiendo. But like, they're going to yeah. get it when you have yeah. money. Like They're exactly. not going to care what That's you did. When, and you live with your mom and your Come dad? On. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I live with my mom and, and grandparents. And grandparents. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's no, there's no dad in the picture because the dad in the yeah. picture is even worse. My, yeah, my, 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 my mom and dad got divorced. My dad actually lives like five minutes from me. Oh, sí, ya. Ok. ¿Y, y, y cómo fue eh, uh -huh. que la reacción de que, verdad, ellos se rieron a tus videos? Uh -huh. um, but how, who, who do you get the comedy side from in your family? 
Ooh. Yeah, because that has to come from somewhere. Right, right, right. Ah, man. I probably have to say my grandpa. Like, mm. He's probably like the funniest dude ever. So that Hispanic character that y'all be seeing and yeah. stuff, I gained most of my stuff from him, bro. Oh, okay. If I were to have to give him like a residual every year, bro, just taking his, his art and craft, bro, and just putting you it into just, like, uh, Yeah. Como que lo estaba imitando. Exactly. Same with yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So I'm that's when she saw the videos and she's like, oh, they're funny, whatever. Uh -huh, and what funny. you ended up telling her, mom, this is this is what I want to do. That, like, yeah. Did you show her my, what is this, my creator fund? Like, yeah. uh, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> like, the creator yeah. fund. The first check I got um, was, well, not the first check, the first big series big check, check yeah. that I thought. Um, it was like $2,000, bro. And mind you, at the time, I was a 19-year-old kid. Mm. Oh, what, what kid is making that off like right. videos and shit? Like, right. It's just dream come too. And then I, again, I, I told her, I was like, Mommy, Mira, like, what, what I'm doing? And then she like closed the door behind her because we was in my room and she was like, like, What are you doing? Like, tell me for real. Like, because I've been saving up to get $2,000 for like months now and I, I, you just got that for one little video. And then I try to explain to her and be like, No, Mommy, like, I'm doing all this. You know, this is this is the internet now. You can make money off the internet. She was like, Ah, está bien. And then I started posting more videos. Everything just, flew together, bro, and um, eventually, bro, she just got off my back and she was like, you know what? He's doing good. Let me just support my son. And, and now she supports you 100%. Yeah, 100%. That's but at tough. the end of the day, what, what do parents want, right? Is is to, you know, for their kid to, to find a good, stable career and she just wants the best for me, bro. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's it, bro. Okay. That's fire. That's fire. Okay, ahora di todo lo que dijiste en el girl voice. Para los que no saben, para los que no saben, este Will, eh, el ad es at your boy Will con dos Y en Instagram para que mientras están viendo este video, no es que, no es que paren YouTube, no es que se vayan a TikTok, no, no. Sigan aquí, en su, pongan esto en su televisión, suscríbanse al canal ya que estás aquí, dale like a este video si estás reído de aquí. Entonces, pero te recomiendo que en algún punto cuando terminemos este podcast eh, o vaya a, a TikTok y veas eh, los diferentes characters, ¿verdad? Impressions, yeah. The like, different impressions that, that, that Will makes in his TikTok, you know. Appreciate it. And yeah, what is it? What is it? The how many characters do you have? Oh, man, so like it's crazy. I can voice more than 11 different oh, shit. characters, like Damn. different voices, but I, I stick to six or seven in my videos. He, they start from uh, a Vietnamese character, which is Asian. What the fuck, man? What you did? Oh my god, I want to boot it. So, all right, so we got we got that one. Got okay, that one. okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> can you can you tell them to subscribe, please, yeah. in that voice? <laughs> can you subscribe to the to the podcast? Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Say it now, cause now the camera's on you. All right. Okay. Can you subscribe to the podcast? Oh my god, my boy's gonna do it. You know, big do big thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Chinese out of the way, okay. Uh, so you have that one. You have your, the the, my, which is the Indian, which is my one of my. What favorite. is going on, guys? We are little fuck. Where are the bitches at? I want to fuck it. Uh, <laughs> and then you have the girl. Yeah, the girl. Which I call her Candace. You know, because so white girl. Candace with a K. Oh my God! Make sure you guys subscribe because if you don't, I'm gonna fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Candice, Candice. Candy, can I get a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> like, that one's so funny. Like, do you do that to your mom? No, bro, I've never done it. Because, like, never. if I would have done it, like, when I do my videos, no homo. I can't. I have to, like, you know? My mom would be like, to the gay. When Sometimes when I do the, the girl one. But, I mean, I have but a deep You have a girl one? one? When I do my mom. Uh, when I do my mom, it's like, I don't actually turn into a girl like you. Uh, but you do it good as fuck, appreciate bro. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I'm a fucking guy. <laughs> and and you, I've seen videos of you at McDonald's, like ordering, and like it just confuses the fuck out of them when they get to exactly, the... bro. So with that, bro, believe it or not, you got in, in trouble. In person, like, I have really bad public anxiety. Oh, really? horrible anxiety. Oh, really? And that's that. I would love to do public pranks, like go to Walmart. You know, like the Chupapi Munyano dude. Yeah, like how he does it. Yeah, no, he I goes would, all out though. He goes all out. I wish I could do that, but my anxiety, bro, just gets the best of me. So I feel like me hiding. Behind, you know, just like the, the screen, the, the screen, the drive-through, uh, works. So I could just so every time I do that, I order, I end up ordering something because I'm not gonna waste the, the employees' time yeah. and shit, you know. Same Damn. as the prank calls that you do. Exactly. Damn. There's bro. always an objective, you know. Imagine this guy doing a stand-up comedy though, like. <laughs> Would you, have you ever you thought about it? Because I, I know when I you have, when you do bro. skits like that, how me and you do, mm -hmm. I know they ask that question all the time. Of course. Would like, you ever do stand-up? Because it's also like very like easy to monetize. Like the exactly. stand-up comedy. But you like guys you see can... it as in, you guys see it as in, 
okay, what are you doing right now? Do it in a live audience. Exactly. And I, it's would, like, I would do a podcast in live audience. No, Bobby, I know you. I'm saying that like, people like us, that we do skits, uh -huh. that we do everything from behind the screen, and mm -hmm. we stop and we just like back to normal. Sí, porque tú no estás así 24 o 7. Right. Pero They, en el stand-up son 5 minutos. Pero minutos. la gente nada más ven nuestro video. So when it comes down to seeing them in person, they're like, do what you just did, but do it in, in a whole bunch of like people. Like, you'd exactly. be like, damn. You know what I mean? People told me all the time. And I'm like, I always think about it, but I'm no, like, yeah. same thing. I feel like I'll fucking blow it up. Yo me cago. My hands get sweaty. Same, bro. I have to drink like 10 tequilas for me to even think of that. So you do like. Would I be funny? Probably. I'll probably, I'll probably yeah. do a couple jokes, but Definitely. would you ever do it? From what you said? Uh, I would do it once. I would do it once just to see how it is. But again, it's just like that fear in the back of my head. Bro. And mind you, this is bomb. your your fans because you're putting this in your your mm -hmm. social media. Guys, pull up to my... Like, kind of like a meet and greet, but you're going to stand up with a mic and you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So you'll do it? Fuck yeah. Okay. I always got the mindset of like, bro, you, you got one life. If you're not doing what you, what you want to do in this life... And, What's the point of just and you already want this to be your full career? Like, you already see it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see myself doing skits, like, forever, right? I, I, I would love to jump into, you know, acting if I can. Um, I really want to do live streaming, though. Like, that's, oh, like, shit, that's nice. my top goal. You're like, doing, you do, do you have a Twitch right now? I do, yeah. I and how started. is that going? It's going pretty good. It's not bad. Um, I just started fully, fully um, going live every day uh, around nighttime, like, the end of December of last year. Hold on, let me ask you when, you know how Mike Talks has the... Whenever someone follows, they have his girl saying, hey, papi, get rid, whatever. Do you have anything? <laughs> Is it Candace? I, I need to get an alert for that, yeah. Oh, you have to have Candace. To, Thank you for following me. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that, right? I mean, that'd be funny. <laughs> I'll subscribe just to like, listen to that. <laughs> we, can, we can make him, like, with oh, this little shit. thing, we can have him record, and then you, we can have a button forever with him mm -hmm. saying, please subscribe to Keep It Raking Podcast. I'll do that shit for you guys. Hell That's yeah. tough. Hell yeah, bro. Like, That's we got to record that shit. Mm -hmm. um, That's tough. When we finish this. So Twitch is going good for you? It is going good. <coughs> so that's what you want to like do, like that and YouTube? Or, or you're yeah. not in YouTube picture? Yeah, that and, and YouTube move on to longer format videos now. Because, you know, my, my skits are like, what, 40, 50 seconds. But if I can move on to, like, YouTube videos that are, like, 10, 12-minute uh, segments, that, that'd be fire. Because, again, that's where the money's at, bro. Yeah. I feel like comedy is a huge niche in, well, it's always been, like, in any social <coughs> media. Comedy has always been, like, always, a yeah. huge no, niche. Man. I feel media? like it's easier to blow up doing a comedy so much than, than you being like, hey guys, watch me just bench three plates right now and fucking and yeah. look how I transform my body or some shit like that. People are gonna Everybody's fucking watch the for entertainment. All yeah, the people time. are afraid of entertainment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Unless you like, oh, I wanna see how you transform your body. Let me search <laughs> up how to see and then you see the video. Exactly. No, you wanna see shit that comes up on your for you page. Like yeah. that. You always in my for you page. It's crazy. <laughs> there's lives there's, there, there's a couple <laughs> people in LA that I know that like that I don't know their name. That's that's also hard. Like when you're like doing these things, like you wanna make sure people know you not only by the face. Like a lot of people recognize me oh from TikTok, but they don't know my name. Because like, eres de TikTok? Eres de pero exacto, pero no, no saben mi nombre. Y, y hay un import, una importancia en que sepan tu nombre. No te gustan cuando te digan así. No, I don't mind. It's just saying, like, for example, I know this guy that's fucking funny as fuck, and like I saw him grow. I saw him grow from like 2020 TikTok to like now, like all his videos are like very well produced, like with br mm, huge brand okay. deals in included. I don't know his name though. That sucks. I, oh, that I, I, was just gonna, I was just gonna ask you what's his name. Claro, I don't know his name, but I, I feel like you would know who he is because he, él es como, él es como prietito, eh, y, y él hace como mucho brinco y cosas como que, like he does like backflips and shit. But he, he mm -hmm. does comedy and they're fucking hilarious, oh, bro. Yeah. He does like all these ads, like he did an ad for the Super Bowl and everything, mm -hmm. and it's like with his skit. Right. And but like there is like room to even like grow, no. you know. No, hundred percent. That's how I always see when you name out there and have a visible name, bro. People be recognizing you in Kentucky. They do, believe it or not, they do. Yeah. How oh, about in Miami? Oh my God, bro! I love coming to Miami. You landed like, today, like, no? I landed today. How many people I have stopped you? you? Uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fucking zero. I've like, been talking to everybody like this so they don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> like three or four. Like I was on the plane, um, and. Some dude like really was walking to his seat and he was like, Yo, bro, like I like your videos and I'm like, I appreciate it, bro. Like it's, it's always a good feeling. And they'll be bro. asking you for a picture and stuff? Yeah. That's the best yeah. feeling. It's yeah. the best feeling, bro. It's the best feeling, honestly. When best back when feeling. back in the day when they used to ask for pictures, I always feel like yeah. I don't know the f the face that they put and how happy they get just because they see me. Exactly. And I'm just like, I'm not nobody. <laughs> and people get happy, it's a great feeling. There's, there's great one feeling. feeling that I miss is that making people Facts, bro. Ma making people's day. Mm -hmm. And right now what, you're single or you have a girl? 
Um, I'm, I'm Cause, single. Cause Valentine's. Why you? Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Why'd you say that? Like, uh, you said it like if you had a situation. You caught me off guard. I That's caught you thing. off guard. I mean, how? Wait, it was Valentine's Day. What? Two days ago? It was. It was two days ago. Um, no, I didn't. You 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 spend it just you and Candice? I spend it with me and Candice. No more. I'm looking for this guy. That's what I'm Candice. Doing Candice nickname is Manuela. For those who don't know. Manuela, Manuela Rica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, boy! You have you know you want to go viral. You have to. Well, you're already viral, but a funny video is you putting your phone down and making that voice in front of your mom, you just so? to see her pure reaction. Cause like, oh, I feel shit. like getting mom's re pure reactions is so funny. Family members, yeah, for sure. It's freaking that's hilarious. Fire. Cause that's deep, mom. No, no lo he encontrado, pero pienso que debemos hacer un deberíamos hacer un skit aquí en el podcast para la gente con los diferentes. With the different accents that he makes, like, all right, all right. Like, we ask him like a you question. Said that he, you you do prank calls, right? I do prank. I would love to do one right now. <laughs> That'd be fun. Hundred percent. I was thinking, man. Dude, you know that one time when we were in Cuba Ricans, like a long time ago, uh, not a long time ago, like at the beginning, like six years ago. Uh huh. We we, we used to do those prank it's calls, funny, and if, uh, I think we went on a live, right? And then we told like the people, like the we took the, the Instagram shit. We took live the shit for you. <laughs> We, what, you think so? There are some prank calls that we took that shit for. You remember? I, I remember some, parents but I don't remember. Were, parents were bitching at us and It shit. happens, bro. It happens. Like, what was, what that shit's gone though? far? That yours have gone, like, far? It's an extreme, yeah. I got cussed out. Um, yeah, you always gonna get cussed out. Why are you wasting out? my time? I'm like, I'm nobody, nobody wants to get prank called at the end <laughs> no, of the day. No, exactly. Bro, like, you know, but but we used to get this, these followers, and they in the live, came and told them, put, put me the number and the name. So then the, the our own followers would give us the uh, phone number and a name of a person and we just go we write it down and we're like we're gonna we're gonna shoot a podcast tonight we're gonna do a prank call segment and like remember that yeah and and then you uh, llama mi abuela llama mi abuela llama and they would give it the number That's and cool. we fucked one the of best them part the best part is that not only would they give you like this is my grandma's abuela this is my abuela this is her phone number they will put something. That's going on with Abuela's life. Oh, so if Abuela's car, shit if Abuela's car just got towed, she put Abuela my phone number. Her car just got towed. Say something like that. And so that's how you when get we call, we were ready. That's how you get like, it. Like, oh, I'm the one that told your car, we have <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, and that shit will go quick, but we will get in trouble. Like people will call uh, us back. Bobby, podcasts were in, and I'll get calls and texts. People threatening me and shit. That's yeah, because you did it with, with your phone. I'm yeah. like, you're crazy, Yeah, because Star 6, 7, I didn't want to not get, like, picked up. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make a podcast and that shit not answering, not answering. So, yeah, I did my fucking... Pfft, I regret it. So, what were you saying? That no. we were doing it and what? No, I was saying, I was, I was like... Me acabo de acordar de eso que conocíamos... Pero no sé si, ¿cómo tú, lo, cómo tú, how do you go about prank calls? Like, who do you call? He called like, businesses. Calls, I call businesses, bro, and just okay. fuck with them, yeah. He so, should call, if he were to do it here, he should call, like, a, a Miami-ass restaurant, like Palacio yeah. Hulu, like, a Cuban-ass <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> and try to order in the girl voice, because it's a white-ass girl. Right. I like to order, like, chuleta with, like, <laughs> rice and yuca. Can I get some you extra mojo, extra mojo on the yuca? Is that called Mahonito or something? Uh, they're going to be like, yeah, ta fucking gringa, bro. <laughs> I'll be fucking They'll hilarious. be like, no, claro que sí, claro que sí. I'm just scared because, like, you know, I don't know. Because what? Because of the, cause of the well, not typically do prank calls. Because what? Because uh, I feel like they can cancel us. Like, not cancel, like, that's not the word. But, like, let's say, for example, Palacio Lujo could actually be a good sponsor for this fucking podcast. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and then I had, right. and then But uh, what if this prank call was what actually made them want to sponsor us? Then think Why? About We're wasting their time. No, because we just mentioned them. The fuck? What if we just mentioned a whole completa right now, <laughs> right? And now someone's like, damn, I actually want to eat. Well, now you got one fucking mojo. And it was because of our whole the, they're, they're already, they're going to already think that, you know? They're already hungry. You know, we did a podcast eating as well. Have really? you ever done like... That's a mukbang, right? Have you ever done those on your Twitch? I haven't. I haven't. You should do them. Those those are, those bro, are. they went so... Like, they people like them so I much, bro. I don't know how people like the How's mukbang so much. Food, I don't, Fungo, you right? should try it, bro. Yo, most of the time, it, you understand. When you're watching TikTok or you're watching... There's two times that you're watching TikTok. You're either in a couch, in a car, doing just watching TikTok because you're bored. And the second time, where for me, is... I'm in my bed. I have a fucking hand here. And that's when I'm watching TikTok. And you want to watch the most relaxing shit. And for some people, food is that. The... I just be falling asleep. I mean, me personally, I be falling asleep. <laughs> he just literally said that that he's what he's into that shit. One hundred percent. I don't give a fuck. Not That's only not fetish. only mukbang, ASMR in general, like the whole. <laughs> you like that? I be that shit gets me to sleep in a coma in two hours. In <laughs> serio, Easily, bro. What? I be yes. Uh, how, are you, how about you? Do you are you yeah, enjoying? It turns you on. No, no. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Hey, yo. 
<laughs> but does it actually like give you like um, that sense? Supposedly, it gives you like a sensation I, like I, that. I would say if the right people do it, right? If it's a professional, come mierda, you're just trying to be funny and shit. Nah, like I get creeped out, but it's um, it's definitely yeah. the right. It has to be the right person to to you know. Got you, got you. You've ever had a bad experience, um, mm-hmm. like going out in public or whatever, doing these videos. You've ever had a bad experience, like. Uh, I wouldn't say crazy experience, but I have been kicked out of stores. Um, oh, okay, you got to kicked out of yeah, stores. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, I for the usual. People, people well, don't I'm like disturbing them the peace or whatever. You know. Yeah, people don't like. So, so you don't have a girlfriend. So, because I, I was gonna ask you that, I was like, I mean, me personally, back in the day when I used to do all these like videos and stuff. You the, you had one? No, I oh. well, I did have an ex, yes, but like, I'm saying the play that will come in with all these followers and shit. Like you'll get you go all you get recognized and then girls will connect to you, and that hasn't happened to you. Not necessarily. It's a, a lot of boys watch me, man. A lot of a lot oh, of men, shit. little teenage uh, boys be watching me. Um, hey yo, sound yeah. of freedom. <laughs> sound of freedom. Uh, no, I mean, but, uh, I get it. Why is he's funny? No, I'm asking him if see all this like fame hasn't gotten him like fucking play pussy. Yes, that's basically <laughs> what I'm trying to ask. Him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> so, nobody's gonna come in here and say, "Yeah, um, my DMs are exploding." And no, all because no, I asked him I, if I he would, had a girl. He said, "No." Shit, I mean, I, if, I, 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 I would mean. say this though, like a hundred percent. Before, obviously, it happens to everybody. Before me doing skits or anything, uh, my DMs are way more females than okay. than I ever had in my life. Yeah. Okay, twin. Yeah. All right, so I have a question. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, <laughs> so let's say the FBI comes to you. Oh shit! Uh-huh. Right, and they go. You, we want to use your, we see your TikToks. Is that, this is a hypothetical? Hypothetical, hypothetical question. Yeah. Okay. Hypothetical question. You got to answer this question in a girl voice, by the way. All right, go. All right, so, go. okay. <coughs> so, they are, they're doing, like, the U.S. government now passed a bill, and they are going all in into, to find uh, pedophiles, right? So, <laughs> so they. Where are you going with this? So, they, so they, so they have a lot of money, and they all, the, the FBI comes to you and says, like, we need help to catching Petties, so we need your voice acting, and you're, we're gonna pay you. <laughs> Petty, the why? Petty and Hento, Bobby. Petty. Petty. Petals. Petals. Yeah, petals. Petals. Okay. How much money would you would you uh would you need like to would you ask you know for it? in order to go mm. to to start like calling people and calling like like you do you know how they fake DM like the oh, police? I get, I get, yeah, I get yeah, your yeah. question now. Like the, the people p- actually make videos of catching predators. Exactly. And the police and the police gotcha, actually okay. they sense. text DMs. They 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 do like fake, they fake, fake messages to they catch them. Yeah. yeah, of course to catch predators. And then when they say let's meet in person, yeah. boom. No, or that. like or like let's say, oh can can I call you? And then, then they hire this guy, and then this guy. Oh, so, he, so since he does it so good, you're asking if he would do it. How much? Money I would do it. it. Yeah, for how much? First money? of all, would you, you would do, you do it? it? Yeah, well, actually, I have done it before. Actually, but no, you gotta like, answer in a girl voice. Right. Go. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely do it. Um, <laughs> it's just like I just want to protect and serve my country, so I would do it for free for all. But yeah, I mean, there's no money because I'm saving a lot of children, right? <laughs> like fuck them kids. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, shit. but okay. So you have done it. I have done it. I done it on a stream. So my my homeboy was streaming right oh, to like shit. thousands of people, and he was like, "Yo, bro, I need your girl voice for this one. Uh, we're just gonna go on Discord. You know what Discord is? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Go on Discord and just have a fake uh, girl account. But I need you to to voice the female. Just pretend you're 15, 16 years old. Text back uh, these older men for for a couple bit until you know." Get them to enlightenment level, you feel me? So they're about to come. And then um, just hop on a call with them. And we did it for three people, bro. And the third guy, I, I dead ass, like, we was, I was talking to him, like, yeah, I'm 14. Is that okay? He's like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Um, here's my dick. Bro, he showed his dick. Wow. I swear to God. Oh, this is, I, I mean, you can't, you can't be shocked, yo. My boy the almost got I've banned seen? on stream, bro. Just wow. Kidding. He got banned? Almost, almost This is banned. This is but thousands of people. But, bro. okay, hold up. How, how did this happen? Like, uh-huh. You're streaming on Twitch, correct? He, yeah, he was streaming on Kick, which on is Kick. Like, yeah. like competition mm-hmm. order. I'll go say, yeah. So he's streaming, and how does how do you're recording the FaceTime like through a cable or something? No, it was um it was through through Discord. So I made a fake um, girl. girl account or whatever. Right? Okay, so they send you an image. Is that what you're saying? How did the audience see the the wiener? <laughs> oh, I turned on the ca- he turned on the camera, right? But my camera wasn't on. It was just my voice. Oh, so I told okay, him. Okay. I told him. I basically told him. I was like, um, 
yeah, like, can you turn on your camera, daddy? Like, I'm trying to fix mine, but I, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> it was like, oh, yeah, I got Motherfucker you. Motherfucker ate that up. And uh, he had his dick in his hand, and his dick in his hand, and like the people seen it for like two seconds. Damn, that's when I was like, so you would do it for free? Like I'll do it for free, bro, just to catch some predators, bro. That's sick, bro. Crazy, crazy. I wonder if now that you said, I wonder if that's an actual job. No, that's why it has to be. Now that you said it like that, I'm like, damn. I wonder if that people actually get hired to do that shit. Well, I know that for a fact, like they do that through messaging. But so they can much. catch even more people if they want, like with like people do. It, people have a YouTube channel just doing that, you know, right? Yeah. They just spent their fucking life instead of making these videos. Yeah, this is what you watch when you like. Uh, like no, I get on TikTok right before my <laughs> ASMR uh, streak. <laughs> I be watching Predator to catch, catch, and it gives me satisfaction. Satisfaction. You know? <laughs> fucking weirder, bro. It's crazy, like crazy, bro. Attacking these girls, yo. Yeah, there's a lot of like uh, weird niche- niches in like social media. What's the weirdest niche you've like been swaddled to? Been what too? That he has, <laughs> that he has. <laughs> been swallowed too. It's I don't know, is, is that wrong? Como que el, I mean, el, you don't think ni idea lo que No tengo más confundido. Como que el algoritmo stumbled, stumbled upon. Oh, they come into our production okay. team. Como, That's como, better. No, pero sí, exacto. Como que de momento tú estás scrolling, scrolling, scrolling y te metiste en un deep hole. Como yeah, de, yeah. De, oh. En un black hole del de, de algoritmo. Mira, ahí en you find Let me give you an example. Yeah. I find you some estaba on my Instagram for some, for some reason. No say a lot of times it happens. I don't know if it happens to you guys that and it's weird as fuck. You be saying right now, yo, this energy drink is fire. I love this energy drink. I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna drink this energy drink. Later you go on your phone and fucking energy hey. drinks pop up in your shit. It happens all like time. if this shit hears you. Crazy. So yesterday, I don't know what the fuck I was talking about, but suddenly on my Instagram, me salieron una vila de toe pe- the toe pictures. Foot, foot fetish, hashtag foot fetish. I do have a full fetish. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, 100. percent Or your DMs tonight full of food. But but it was weird because I haven't searched up anything. I, I just maybe maybe I talked about it. Like, bro, my whole thing was foot like foot fetishes. That's crazy. And I was yo, I enjoy it. Yo. I, said, I scrolled a little <laughs> bit before my ASMR. I scrolled a little bit and I saw him. So that's your question to him. Like, yeah. have do you have any? What is your black hole? I don't know how to ask the question. What did you get me? So one time I was just scrolling. I don't know if it was on Instagram or TikTok, but I was just scrolling right, and I was. <laughs> I, I stumbled across a, a old black lady. <laughs> <laughs> I stumbled, <laughs> I stumbled old across lady. like old ladies knitting, bro. Knitting. knitting. Oh, like, yeah, lo que cosa más rara. And bro, I was just like, it's satisfying, bro. Damn, bro, this is like calm. Like, you know how ASMR puts yeah. you to sleep and shit. And that shit was low key putting me to sleep. <laughs> 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 Horrible. But, uh, What's it called? I saw the, <laughs> the I want the I think one of the weirdest ones is uh uh there's like agriculture or like farming uh niches and they there's a guy What's that yours? he does like the footing of the of the horses. Oh, and he takes ah, out the, the okay. stuff. I've seen those too. Yeah, I've seen ah, those. Those are, those are the, satisfying. The, yeah, or satisfying. the, or the cow, cow ones. Mm-hmm. Like they, they grab the, the they take out the and thing and then they, they clean it. For me, they also, clean it, that and then they put it back popping. on. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Oh. Pimple popping. Pimple popping That's is a big one thing too. too. Those are tough. The, um, comment down below. What's yours? Or I've talked about ours. I just said. What? Oh, the horse one? Yeah. You like that? <laughs> I, ne- I, I never said I like it, but like that's a niche that I just I have no idea why I stop on the pun. Like there's nothing that I watch because you probably watched one like. for a long time in your algorithm. Teddy dijo, "Goy." Sí, que a lo mejor me salió uno random y después lo vi por tanto tiempo el WhatsApp. Exactly. No, that's exactly what happened. Que después me empezó a sacar el más. Easily, 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 easily. What is something that I watch that like it's weird on my social media? I don't think I have anything weird. Like I watch. Do you? I don't. Or you just don't want to say it. I don't think I have anything weird. I mean, I I have things of my interest. Like I feel like the shoe cleaning ones are kind of satisfying. Okay. Like shoe cleaning or like surfboard, like a lot of like. Uh, yeah, cause like, you like that shit. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's normal. Like artwork, like people making. Like, I expected like a crazy answer. All right, guys, boof, Gio, <laughs> highlight, <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> Gio is into elbows, <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> and I was like, I you think know. there's people that are into elbows? 100%. 100%. Deep, 100%. Bro, Gio, there's people that are interested in everything you can think of. Who be in San Diego right now and there's people in the world that are, people are interested in? Boogers? Boogers, 100%. The saltiness of the booger. It's crazy, bro. 
the text me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm actually one of the people that are into the women. <laughs> nah, okay. How do you know about saltiness and boogers? Papi, you've ate boogers before. No, that logo. You've ate your boogers before. You didn't a little bit of pink salt. That is. What do you mean? So why? So you've never had a booger in your life? No, no. now why? <laughs> now you're gonna make me seem like a piece of shit. You've never ate a booger in your life. They say you don't three años. You've never ate a booger in your life. Not purposely. Not maybe, purposely. Maybe, but you've ate the booger. May, maybe. So you can I, know what as a, booger. a kid, like crying. I, 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 and you swallowed a booger, I, and okay. you know what it tastes like. And but, is it not salty? Mm, Maybe it was that lagrima. Okay, that papi. Well, no, I go, okay, and lagrimas are inside <laughs> of the nose of the booger. So it's the same shit. You think so? Easily. Are boogers salty? Jesus, are we in this right now? Are we literally talking about this? Right I don't know. I don't, I don't like. Know. I, I don't know, 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 know if they're salty. Let's all find out right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you saw the Super Bowl or no? I did a little bit, bro. I did. Um... Do you be sport betting? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Because I'm shit, you're making money from fucking social media. There's not, there's no way you don't yeah. put a couple hundred bucks exactly. in price picks or fucking bullshit. Is, what, is it is it that easy to make money there? No, it's hard. Uh, it's I do hard, it myself. Bro. So I I really I really like the basketball, right? The NBA. I like the Heat a lot. Like my dream is to like actually go to a Heat game. You've never, You've never been, to been to a Heat never, game. Damn. Never been to a. Oh, well, this weekend, NBA. bro. It's come not bad. Come on, yeah. chat. Come on, it's chat. Don't eat chat. W's in the chat, please. W's in the chat. <laughs> so that we can uh, send this man to the heat game. Sea Geek sponsor us. You know, you've seen those. Sea David Dobrik. The yeah, but they they do like a lot of influencer work, like oh, Sea really? Geeks. Yeah. yeah, I know. A friend I'm surprised that, Miami he hasn't even hit you up because right. when you have a lot of followers, sometimes the the social media team of Miami Heat hit you up just to be on the on the on the game. Yeah, of course. But well, you should go this weekend, brother. Tickets are tickets are like fifty bucks. Really? Yes, cool. up there, obviously. How how are the Heat doing this season? Um, in my personal opinion, I mean, them. They just they signed um, uh, what's his name? Terry Rozier. Terry, Terry Rozier. And he hurt himself. And he yeah. But um, who is this guy? What's his name? Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier. You know him from the Hornets. Terry Rozier. He used to be on the Terry Hornets Rozier? and stuff. Terry Rozier. Zero. 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 They got they got rid of Kyle Larry. Kyle Larry. Kyle Larry. Yeah. Kyle Larry. Okay, but todavía está a la bio. Todavía está. Yeah. You don't know the Heat? Yeah. I, I thought you knew basketball. It. I know basketball. I just haven't Me watched it. Me and Gio it. played basketball one time. Destroyed his ass. For real? 100%. You like that, Kevin? I play basketball. That's crazy. That's what, actually why I'm going after this. I have an event I have to go I to. I thought you were short like me, dog. You mm -hmm. thought I was... Everybody says that until they see okay. me in person. They're like, what the fuck? That's crazy. All right. Comment and like if you want to see a 1v1 in this channel. I want to see that. On, uh, yeah. you know, me and Kevin. <laughs> Who got the better jumper, though? Huh? I don't jump. care about who has a better jumper. I'm taking this guy to the paint. Okay. I, I usually have like 50 pounds on him. Puerto Ricans are, are known to, to, to be good at basketball, though, right? Easily. And this guy knows. <laughs> this guy knows. <laughs> this guy played me one time when I was like 17 years old. Flag with the pink. Oh. <laughs> he ain't playing me now. He's a big body. I'm sure. I'm moving him to the paint. Yeah, okay. I gotta see that. Doof. I gotta see that. Los, muchacho, los muchachos de True Buckets. I can hacer un podcast y con los Cuba Ricans. You know True Buckets? Check him out. Loser has to do a crazy Not ass sure. there sure. for the next podcast. Wait. Let's do it. I have a torn ACL. I'm still with your ass. Damn, okay, I, I have a torn finger. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, I, I have no dick. Well, what was I saying? <laughs> I swear. I got surgery for my dick. I have no dick. <laughs> no, what were we saying? I forgot what we were saying. Chew Buckets. Oh, Chew Buckets oh, is... Bro, you should watch it. It's like basketball content. You hoop? Oh, from really? Puerto Rico. I do, but not like that, bro. I mean, I feel like... You hoop or fun and stuff? Just, just with friends and shit. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. But did you watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, I, I did you for a little bit. Because you repeated the question. That shit was funny. Oh, um, my bad. That shit was funny. I never got an answer. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I did for a little bit, bro. I really wanted the Cowboys in it. Uh, yeah. What do you think about the Taylor Swift situation? Oh, man. Um, I fuck with Taylor Swift, bro. <laughs> I was going to say that. You talk, annoying, you, talk, you talk just like her. You could talk to her. <laughs> if you think about it. What's We're it called? Yay. What's it called? I was gonna ask you, have you tried to buy tickets for the Heat game before? I haven't, bro, because I don't know. Every time I come to Miami, it's for content or just to see my, my uncle. That so, lives in Alaska. what you here for? What content? Uh, He's here I'm, for la pudi, Gio. <laughs> He's here for la pudi, el relajo. So, He's so here I'm, with I mean, I'm here for, for this. This is fire so far. Y'all gotta subscribe. I ain't gonna lie. This is this is fire. Thank, Thank you, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You have anything else planned with content creators? I do. Uh, a baby alien. I'll, I'm. 
I'm hoping to do a skit with him. No, you did, no. did an interview. With yeah, him, he he. Yeah, Kev told me. I did. Oh, I yeah, did it. It's crazy. What's it called? He's on the wall. He's on we the have, wall. He's on the wall. We have to get him on now because I, I want to have him again. I have a couple questions that I have to ask you. Yeah, he, he's on the wall, he, bro. He was baby alien was in my podcast. I'm gonna start with saying literally nice like five days before he went on the bank bus shit. Damn, and I you was didn't like, know? huh? You didn't know? I didn't know. Child, I would have great questions, bro. I didn't oh, know. That would have been great questions. Like, are you nervous? Like, show me with your finger how long is your? What the fuck? I got a question fuck? for y'all though, like, like a serious one. Like, what? They say this was a whole setup, right? Mm -hmm. For like pornography or whatever. <laughs> um. Not everybody out. has confused it as that. Like everybody you, has come in here has said, say, you make, say stuff do you make porn here? Well, let's, <laughs> as soon as Will walked into the studio, <laughs> like as soon as he stepped the foot, he said, holy shit, this looks like a porn. Uh, I don't blame it. It's fire though. I mean, there's a casting couch right there. You know, yep. I mean, everybody, we're going to be honest. So Everybody <laughs> thinks that's the casting couch. So this is the page that we, I didn't read your question. The back. <laughs> now we get to the real stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, people say it all the time. Uh, yeah. But like, let's say like, how do people like get hard, bro? Just like you have all these cameras around you, like, bro, like you have all these cameras around me. I don't know if I can get hard. I'm gonna let you answer that question. Pills and shit, like honey packs. I don't know. I I've never been put in that situation, but I would like to think that the girl is erotic enough to to get the guy to get me. You'd hard. be surprised. I don't think so. Don't know, like, some be... guys keep for straight business and they just they don't find her attractive, but they have to work. They, yeah, but you're right. They drink. They 100 drink oh, okay, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You think they so? have to? Yeah, they have, they have to. to. And mind you, this sometimes like I keep you're gonna tell me real, that you're bro. not attracted to those porn stars. No, like, you can bro, get attracted. You are, you are, you are like those guys are. Okay, Obviously yeah, they but are. think about it like this, right? That's why they pick. That's why they dare in the first place. Let's think about it like this. So una enfermo, I know what you mean. So una enfermo, so they're gonna get attracted to any girl. But these guys do scenes for hours, and sometimes they even do scenes a day. Plenty. You think that they're gonna you get hard? You don't every last for time? hours. Huh? You don't last for hours? I last for hours, but when it comes ah! down to it, all right, all right, all right, bitch, let's see if you're going to last for hours with three cameras and lighting but es que, on okay, your it's dick. It's mental, it's ah, mental. Okay, but let me it's tell mental. You. I feel like the cameras and the lights are is all mental. Like, you just got to block them out, you know? Yeah, yeah but to answer your question, there's going to be times... It's the same thing of an athlete when they're playing little leagues with no audience, and then they get to the big leagues, and the whole stadium is... Full of people and lights, they gotta fucking That's a show crazy up. Crazy comparison. Okay, man. okay, <laughs> perfect. Crazy. All right, you brought that. No, they, he brought that example. Perfect. That's a good example. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. They gotta do, show up. Okay. Like, what is it? Oh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna be able to, to swing as hard anymore. Right. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> that perfect example that you just did right now. So imagine those kids playing in the low league. Imagine them playing several games a day. When it gets to the third game, you don't think they need a fucking chug of Gatorade? No, they, they, they get hydrated, yes. But okay. That, that, but when they the get to the stars, third game, they're already used to the lights and the camera, and they're like, I'm going to fuck this bitch. Like, that's fine. And my they, wife. But they still need I a fucking know. form of Gatorade. So well, the porn stars, when it gets down to the third scene, that they're getting, in the third we're hour. are blocked from YouTube now. They're going to pop a pill or they're going to pop a honey pack 100%. Easily. Damn. That's crazy. I know it's from experience because I know a porn star. So I'll just say it. Oh, for real? Yes. That's awesome. What's her name? It's not a her. Mm. Oh, it's a guy? Maybe. It, so a maybe guy. Actually, no, I'm lying. It's not a porn star. It's a girl. It's only fans. Oh. It's not a porn star. The modern porn star. It's not stars. a porn star. It's the girl does makeup for the porn stars. Mm -hmm. Guys and girls. That's that's her job. What so, would you classify that, though, as like? What, uh, what you work in the industry. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. she's yeah. a makeup artist that works in the industry. And she tells me everything how it goes down. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, there for some you? scenes and stuff? Huh? Is she there for some scenes? Like she watches. I asked her and she said no, she's been plus once. Like you know, people that walk behind or like they knock. I need a plumber. Uh, they she's done that, but she's never done an actual scene. No, but how she's seen it, like Oh yeah, she's there, she's there live. Cause they they say cut, boom, That's they cool. gotta fix her. Okay, tipo le dio tremendo fucking that. And she needs they need to fix her, they need to fix her eyelash. She's there the whole time. Yes. So she does catch it live. Yes. To answer your question. Why did we switch to this conversation? This is crazy. Fault, this is not. This went from being uh, such a wholesome podcast. <laughs> like, what? Did your parents support you to like? <laughs> like, like what, when the fuck did we jump into this? I don't know. Oh, cause the studio. That's yeah. the studio. Oh, that's the, right, studio. Right. the studio. The studio. All right, uh, we can wrap it up here. Uh, yeah. Pretty fun podcast. Thank you for coming, bro. You Absolutely, can put your ads bro. in the. Kevin has comments. somewhere to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Talking about he's, basketball, he's, I actually he, do. He's gonna go make a movie. I do a league. Yes, sir. <laughs> I have to do a movie at the ball court. Oh yeah. What you 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 are like a ref or something? No, no, I'm actually playing. You play? Uh, what's the name of the league? It's not a league. It's like something that me and my boys do once a once a month. Oh, you guys go play to and basketball. Yeah, court? and there's money on the line, and uh, it's a whole court that we rent and stuff. And I'm the one that has to like put in the uh, the code to get in the door and shit. So I need to be like the first one there. Just like the well, not just like that, but like you have a domino league, right? 
Or oh, I used, used to. to. I used to. Yes, That's yes, yeah. yes. But the place that we did it in freaking shut us down. They what? didn't want to do it. I don't know, bro. Like Damn, me the and the fuck? company that were the Miami Dominoes that were doing it. They just hit me up. We did two events there, and then they said, "Yo, they don't want us there no more." Let's do it here. And I was super confused. We can, we can, we have space. Oh, shit. How many people? That shit makes my bread. No, like, <laughs> not like I'm not even kidding. That's why. And uh, and I was super confused because the place it's a brewery, oh. so they were getting hello people that day. What's the name of the brewery? Uh, it was called uh, Tripping Animals. Oh, it's right here. Tripping Animals, and mm. that mind you, I've been to that brewery before, and that place is dead. I tre gente. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm being straight up. I'm being honest. They're my friends. Oh, well, no. well, let me tell you. Your friends are retarded. Your friends are retarded because that place is dead. They gave me, they're giving me free beers. Entonces, are you for real? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Okay, well, entonces, to finish the story, their place is dead every now and then. They have a Hay gente ahí. Pero that day that we do the event, from the day we start, from the time we start to the end. Full of Cubans gritando ahí. No, no, not even Cubans. The place gets packed. And, they, and you, you, should, you should see the. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that shit gets them, uh, they, they get, they fucking buy hella stuff. Like, the bar's full. Mm -hmm. And when we have breaks in between the games, they go, buy food, drinks. And then the more drinks they get, the more boom, and then the more boom, and then they get, bro, that place goes crazy that day. So I was shocked when they said, no, no anymore. I was like, I don't want Damn, bro. That's crazy. But, but, okay, but it, you said it, it was good, the business? Like, great. You play dominoes? I, I used to with my dad and stuff to, you know, and every Hispanic plays dominoes, Noche Buena. Yeah. Uh, Christmas, everything. But do you know how to play? I know how to play. Like those people that I'll be like, they, they go like that. <laughs> and they read the table in a matter of five seconds. They'll be like, they already know what the fuck the other person has. Yeah, exactly. Game over. And I'm like, how the fuck do you know? You don't know? You don't know. I know a little bit. I know how to read the table. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to be like this for a minute. Exactly. Same shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's how I do it. Yes, I could. But those people do it fast, like they go, yeah, don't get well. And they know. I'm like, what the fuck? How? Like, OGs, OGs, Cubans. Tell me I'm wrong. 100% right, bro. You know how to do it? You're wrong, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. All right, no, I, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I, I, I like dominoes. I've been playing a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You're good at it? Like, you win right. a whole tournament? No, I don't For know. For prize money? Depends on my partner. It's, it's a partner. It's always game. a partner oh, game. Yeah. That's true. Like, your partner and you have to be in sync the whole time. Mm -hmm. Depends on... All right, guys. Maybe you never know. Q and Rican's Donimo. Donimo. Q and Rican's Domino. Oh, we can, that could be a merch, too. And I actually have somebody... Like, we, can, we can make Dominoes that have half the Puerto Rican flag and have... I have the somebody flag. that That's does nice. the Dominoes, provides the Dominoes to the event for free. All we got to do is use his Dominoes. Yeah. So, if that's something you're interested in, I mean... All right. Your Instagram, bro. Your social media. Oh uh, yeah, yo boy will all the way around, guys. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that. Thank you sure. for coming. Wait, say that. Do all that again, but with the uh, Indian. All right. <clears throat> your your whole Instagram and stuff. Guys, my my art all around is yo boy will Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, um, the porn hub too. If you want to follow, <laughs> please do. Thank you. Fire, fire, appreciate fire. Right. Thank man. you, bro. Thank you for coming, man. Yes, and hopefully we see you in the future, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Like, share, subscribe to this fucking channel. Uh, we we should we uh, what should be a goal, our goal. For, are How you talking about subscribers? Right we have in this page. I think we have 10k. 10k, like yeah. 10.7. I checked that. Yeah, night. yeah. yeah. Gotta hop on shorts, bro. Post yeah, shorts. I'm telling you, that's a hundred percent. I got two million on YouTube just because of shorts, bro. Wow. Yeah. Two million what? Crazy. Subscribers. You have two million subscribers on YouTube? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, but but, but because we haven't posted <laughs> it. Sounded like a little kid. No, damn, because like I know you're yeah. being on like because I know YouTube is the hardest one to get subscribers in. TikTok right. and Instagram is gonna look easier, but YouTube is two million. Two million, bro. Let me get a hundred bucks. <laughs> 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 What's it called? What was I gonna say about it? Oh, 350 likes. That's a good goal. 350 likes. 350k and this video. No, 350 oh, likes. 350. All right, well, let's go. If All right, guys. Later. You guys heard it first. Bye. Later.